hello everyone welcome back to my channel if today is your first time on my channel welcome today i'm gonna show you how to make fura fula pura whichever way you call it fura is a popular dish in nigeria in the northern part of nigeria and ghana in case you grew up eating it and you don't know how to make it you want to learn how to make it let me show you how it is made so I'll be using 3 cups of millet, I'm gonna grind it, you can use whatever means, you could use public meal, a grinder to do it, so it takes a while, so I'm gonna blend it. If you are not living in Nigeria or Africa and you're looking for millet, you could go to any Asian store to find millet, so when I blend it, it's not gonna be smooth at first, I'm gonna pass it through a sieve multiple times till I get a fine flour it's time consuming so i'm gonna do it off camera but this is what i do multiple times till it's done after sifting it i got more than three cups but this is three cups i'm using three cups the leftover i'm gonna use it for coating to the millet i'm gonna add a tablespoon of ground ginger a teaspoon of dried pepper half a teaspoon of cloves half a teaspoon of ground black pepper I'm going to mix everything to combine. Before I add water to the millet flour, I will start heating up some water that I will use to cook the fura. To the millet flour, I'm going to add water gradually to mix it. So I'm just going with my hand to um, continue to mix it. It is very important to add water gradually because if not, it's going to be too runny. So you add it gradually. To form a doughy paste, it's gonna look like play dough. Let me use this opportunity to welcome those that are seeing my video for the first time. If this is your first time on my channel or you have been watching my videos and you are yet to subscribe, please click the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell. That is the only way you can know that I posted a video because you're going to receive an alert. Thank you and God bless you. When you are done adding the water, this is what it should look like. See, it looks like a play-doh, like clay. This is how it's supposed to look like, not runny, but held together like this. It is time to start rolling them into little balls. I like to roll them into like little balls. I don't want huge balls because sometimes they don't cook all the way another way to make sure that it is cooked through just make a hole in the middle like a donut i saw a lady do this on the internet i said wow how smart so when you do it like this it's gonna cook all the way through i have seen people making fura like fufu i guess they're just trying to make sure it is cooked all the way but this is actually how Hausa people make the fura they make it into little balls like this then cook the fura like dumplings so this is the last one i am practically done i'm just gonna wait for the water to start boiling the water is ready it is boiling I'm going to add the dough to the water and cook it for 40 minutes to an hour. When I'm done adding it, I'm going to cover it and let it cook for a few minutes. Then I'll go back in and uh, move it because if you do not move it, it's going to stick to the bottom of the pot. So you have to like move it so it's a little bit stuck to the pot. I do not cover the pot all the way. I cover it like this to prevent it from boiling over. So this is the second time I'm trying to stir it, move it around, see it's a little bit stuck. You have to do it a couple of times, it is not yet done. So I'm going to cover it and let it cook some more. So I let it cook for one hour, see it is cooked, see the appearance change a little bit. So it is ready and I'm going to start pounding it. I do not have the regular 
wooden mortar and pistol but i'm gonna use this stone mortar and pistol as you can see the color is uniform it is cooked all through if it if it wasn't done you will see the middle is like a little bit white or the color is different see the color is uniform that is how you know it is cooked through So I'm gonna add some of the fluid the millet was cooked in it's just like pounded yam you know you add the water the yam was cooked in is the same thing if you don't do it it's gonna be too hard and it's not gonna mold it's not gonna be soft enough for you to make into a ball so you do it the same way you do pounded yam it makes it easy for you to roll and you have to do it while it is still hot because if you don't do it, it's going to be very, very hard and difficult to manipulate. So just add enough water like this. It should be soft for you to be able to mold it into any shape. See, just like this. It's not really that hard. See, it looks like fufu. That's why some people just make it like fufu so i'm going to continue till i'm done in case you don't have this you are in a foreign country you can use your blender i'm going to show you how i use my hand blender to do it you can use a regular blender i've seen people even use a masher to mash it Using the blender is actually the easiest way to uh, mix fura. You still need to add the water, the water the fura was cooked in, just like so. Fura is one of my favorite Aousa dish. I was born and brought up in the north, so I've tasted a lot of Aousa dishes. I went to a boarding school. This takes the cake for me. The way children stand outside and wait for ice cream truck. That is the same way I look for Ferrari no no whenever I see the lady coming I make sure I buy enough that's gonna satisfy me the reason why I love Ferra so much it is the mixture of sweet spicy and sour taste those are the taste I really love so it is perfectly mixed see looks like Ferra I'm gonna scoop it and add it to the rest you cannot tell the difference with uh, between the one I I mashed and the one I used hand mixer to mix. To make sure they are equal, I use the ice cream scoop to measure it. But you could eyeball it. Some people are very good; they just use their hands to measure it. So you can use an ice cream scoop to do it. So when I'm done, I'm gonna wash my hands properly and roll it between my hands. You can also use any surface to roll it on like this. See? Very perfect millet ball. So let me use this opportunity to shout out to those that have subscribed. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. I love you so much. Thank you and God bless you. And just a quick reminder if you have not subscribed please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell that's the only way you're gonna know when I post a new video thank you so this is the last one I'm practically done see don't they look beautiful so I'm gonna dust it with the remaining flour I'm going to pour some in the bowl and add the fura and roll it like this. You could use your hand to just roll it on it but I like it this way. See? It is covered. You could use rice flour to do this too. See? 
I'm going to continue until I'm done. This fora really smells amazing. You don't know how much I've eaten. <laughs> I'm practically done, see? So this is what I'm using, cultured buttermilk. You could use yogurt. So I'm gonna measure two cups of the milk. Yogurt and cultured milk are two substitutes for no-no. You know no-no is sour, it has a, a fermented taste. Some people use evaporated milk. I tried it once, I don't like it, it doesn't taste the same way. But you can use whatever you can find. See, this is how some people, those Fulani people, this is how they mix it in. They dama the Pura, they no no. To mix it like this is a little bit tedious. You can do it when you continue, it's gonna break down. See, see how it looks. But let me show you an easier way. I'm gonna use a blender. You can do it in a regular blender, but make sure you wash the blender properly. You don't want another taste to get into it. See, it is all done. Millet smoothie. See how smooth it is? Add sugar to your taste. Wow. This takes me back to my days in the north. <laughs> Very yummy. I'm just gonna add a couple of ice cubes. You can skip that see fura de no no if you lived in the north you know how tasty this is look at it so pretty and yummy the the taste oh god so give this recipe a try promise you you will not be disappointed it's so yummy delicious i have tried so many fura recipes but this one is the one that takes me back to my childhood this is what i remember if you have watched the video to this point please do not forget to subscribe like and share the video thank you and god bless so thank you guys for watching till i see you next time stay safe stay blessed i love you bye